Hi everybody and welcome to week 16. What? Crazy. Now I feel like time is flying. I felt like the first 12 weeks were like, oh my God, am I ever gonna get to the second trimester? And now I'm like, okay, slow down. This is my favorite part of pregnancy. I feel good. I still look like my normal self. I don't feel completely like my body is being taken over by I don't know, a giant watermelon. So I feel really good and I'm really enjoying this part of my pregnancy. And the only thing that I'm like trying to make myself do is like slow down, like everything, slow down everything. Take time to enjoy being pregnant, take time to read pregnancy things and reflect upon this little nugget in my belly and all of those beautiful things. So that's like my motto for the week. And I'm gonna try and keep it up in the coming weeks. I weighed myself, it's a miracle. <laughs> I am officially 64.5 kg, which comes to about 142 pounds. So granted, I just like weighed myself five minutes ago. So that's like a midday weighing, who cares? Obviously, I'm putting on some weight. The belly is starting to show, which by the way, I apologize for not showing you my belly in my last pregnancy vlog. Like, hello, that's the most important part. Talk about pregnancy brain, totally forgot. And by the time I was editing the video, I was just like, Oh, I forgot about this in the process of uploading to YouTube, so apologies. I won't forget again, I promise. And since I forgot last week, I'm not going to make you wait to the end of the video, so here's my belly. You'll probably notice that it has jumped in size from my last video, which would have been, I showed you guys my belly in my week 13 vlog. So the little bump is coming along and I noticed that I'm starting to get fuller like at the top of my belly faster this time around. I'm sure it's because the muscles just aren't what they used to be. But yeah, here's my little belly. The baby is the size of an avocado. How awesome is that? So getting bigger and cool fun fact of the week, the baby can hear me now. Ah! Poor thing, I talk a lot. No, I'm just kidding. And it's really exciting because one thing that was really fun when I was pregnant with Esme is that I would sing one specific song to my belly a lot of the time. And when Esme came out, when she would be having those moments where she was upset or just needed extra cuddling or extra attention, I would sing her that same song and it would calm her. So I'm trying to take some time to talk to my little belly while I rub it and of and course sing a little tune. So this baby will probably have like 10 songs that likes to hear because I'm constantly singing to Esme so this baby will probably like rather than love the song I was singing before which is like this Barbra Streisand song this baby will probably love like Itsy Bitsy Spider and the wheels on the bus just what happens right this week was a rather eventful but like uneventful week I had a bit of an incident in the beginning of the week where I was reminded that I'm pregnant and to just slow down so nothing scary I didn't have to like rush to the doctor or anything but I did have some concerns and I spoke with my doctor and he was just like take it easy put those feet up and I did and I also I spent like the first half of the week on the sofa with my feet up I finished Downtown Abbey season three Oh my god, have I told you I'm obsessed with this show? I cannot wait for season four to start. Like, seriously, I should have paced myself. Anyways, so Esme was a darling girl, and she is getting to that point in her little life where she doesn't require as much mommy mommy time. Like, she can entertain herself for a little bit, and she was just a doll. So I'm feeling much better now, I must say. And there's, you know, no reason for concern. I even went to yoga today. Hence my yoga hair. Do you see these flyaways? It's driving me crazy. So what's really great about taking prenatal yoga this time around is that I actually have some tools now in my arsenal to help me relieve some of the back pain that I'm feeling. And I didn't really know that I was having back pain until I started doing this prenatal yoga, which I've, I've now been doing it for three weeks. And um, it's like, oh yeah, that is really like tight in that area. So some really great positions. It's awesome. If you are pregnant and you have the opportunity to do prenatal yoga and you're thinking maybe you're a little bit nervous because you're not a big yogi or you've never done yoga in the past, don't even worry about it. Just go. It's nothing that's too strenuous. And the beautiful thing about yoga is you go at your pace. You only do what feels comfortable to you. And I love it. Like today I went and I don't think I just, I had eaten a really big breakfast and I was feeling a little bit out of sorts. And oh, forgive me, I'm out of breath. And um, a few of the positions just made me really nauseous and lightheaded. And I actually like left the classroom and stood outside for a few minutes just to get some air on my face. It also happened to be drizzling lightly. And so I had like a little bit of water on my face and I was like, 
okay. And I went back in and I felt pretty good. So it happens to the best of us, right? But anyways, loving yoga, that's that. I have noticed as well that I'm really dehydrated and not like I've had, I shouldn't say really, that's slightly dramatic. I haven't had to go to the hospital or anything like that, but just, you know, when I'm, I'm thirsty right now, for example, I need to really step up my water intake. Um, yeah, that's all there is to say about that. As I was saying, I took it easy at the beginning of the week and I just been feeling a little bit tired and more run down. And so I took some naps with Esme and that's really helped me. I try to do that like every other day. So for example, today I didn't nap, but tomorrow I will try to force myself to lay down. And sometimes I just lay down and rest my eyes and like put the phone down and put all electronics down. And I'm just finding that's really helpful right now because I know that when the baby comes, there's gonna be little time for me to do that between juggling two babies. And so I'm just, even though there's things to be done, again, I'm like, it can wait, just lay down. Best moment of the week is probably the point when my husband told me we're gonna get a dishwasher. Woo, I'm so excited. Oh, sadly, sadly, that's true. That was the peak of my week. I wish I was lying, but that's totally true. I'm so tired <laughs> most of the time that when it comes to doing the dishes, I honestly would rather like run to the hills. And so knowing that we're gonna be getting a dish, an actual dishwasher, I haven't had a dishwasher in over three years, my friends. This is like monumental information. So I just feel like, oh, I'm gonna get some relief and some assistance in that regard and I'm super excited. So honestly, that was the peak of my week. I posted a photo to Instagram the other day with some books that I had been reading and also my pregnancy journal. And so I thought I would share those with you today. I completed a pregnancy journal with Esme. And what that is, if you're not familiar, is essentially just a book that you can buy. And I bought both of mine off of Amazon actually. Um, but essentially it's a journal that has things for you to fill out. So not just an empty book because sometimes you need a little bit of inspiration and you just don't know what to write about if you're not a, like a big journal writer. And so what's great about these pregnancy journals is that it'll give you like week to week and little questions for you to fill out like your weight and how you're feeling and a message for your baby and all sorts of fun little things. They try to keep it exciting. This pregnancy journal is an opportunity for me to put my thoughts and feelings down on paper and hopefully one day maybe give it to my babies. I am a little bit sappy and emotional like that and I want them to have something like that. I didn't have anything like that. Quite frankly, they didn't have these pre-filled books when my mom was pregnant with me. So it's just something really nice that I like to do. And again, it's an opportunity for me to stop and reflect upon my pregnancy and just put some energy into something more creative. So the one that I'm using right now is called A Pregnancy Journal from P to Pumpkin. And this is by Gerilyn Broder Murray and had been well reviewed on um, Amazon. And what I like about this one, um, first, pregnancy number two is that it's not as detail specific about the medical side of your pregnancy. If I'm not mistaken, the one that I completed with Esme was the what to expect when you're expecting pregnancy journal. And it was really helpful um, for my first pregnancy because it had lots about doctors and things you could fill out and like about your visits, your doctor visits and things like that, where by this time I sort of know what to expect when it comes to the medical side of things. So I wasn't interested in completing all of that again, but this one, it's really nice. It goes week to week, um, tells you the size of the baby in that week on one side and then has one side for you to fill out. And and the questions do change from week to week, like they're not the same questions over and over, which again is really fun because it keeps it exciting and it keeps it fun to read and also to fill out. The other book that was in the photo was this Pregnancy and Birth, Everything You Need to Know by Dr. Mary Steen. I must admit, it's kind of a silly book in the sense that there is a lot of pictures, but to be honest, that's what I actually really like about it. It has those plasticky type pages, which Sometimes I also really like kind of like a magazine and it just goes through like every aspect. If you're having twins, feeling the baby's first movements, high risk pregnancies, it really goes through like all the different things, the different types of tests. Now, of course you could Google all this information, but sometimes what I really like is just to sit down with a book, something tangible in front of me and like go through it. And so it was just nice to, and it has like things, once the baby comes, breastfeeding, it shows you things about a C-section, the different, it just goes through everything. And I really like that because sometimes it's like, even though I've been through this before and it wasn't that long ago, it's just like you kind of just want a reminder and a refresher and it just 
kind of allows you and forces you because you're looking at the pictures and all the information to just process that in your mind like yes i will be birthing this child at some point in early next year and i don't know it's just nice to sit down and go through that the last book which i didn't have in the photo but is one that i really enjoyed in my first pregnancy with esme was this ina may's guide to childbirth and ina may gaskin is um like a guru when it comes to natural birth and what i really like reading about this book is that it has like this is more of a novel kind um is it's just one of those like go-to staple pregnancy books if you're interested in reading about different birth stories and it just helps you prepare for that day. Um, I don't find the stories scary, like I don't feel scared when I read about other people's birth stories. A lot of them are vaginal births and how like very few of the births that this lady has witnessed go to c-section and so anyways it's just really empowering and I like reading it and um, yeah I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this or at least heard of Ina May. Those are a few of the readings of reading material that I have. I have a lot of really, I have a lot of pregnancy books. I will probably show you more throughout um, these vlogs. I purchased a ton of books in my first pregnancy. I think that's pretty common. And um, I had read like pretty much all of them. So I don't anticipate reading all of them again. I'll flip through some of those books and it just, again, allows me some time to reflect upon this pregnancy and what to expect type of thing. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first video of my pregnancy vlogs, be sure to go and look at my playlist for pregnancy vlogs. I've been vlogging them every week now since week 12, and I plan to do this until this baby comes. I will catch you in my next video. Bye!